We have a couple of questions before we move on. I, I have just so many questions here. This is the most questions I have ever asked um, <laughs> by far, I think. <clears throat> so I'll just get right to it. Uh, why did Cameron Poe get off of a dilapidated old fishing boat at the beginning <laughs> of the movie? <laughs> he got off his Mobile, Alabama. There's an airport there. No. And he's coming from, uh, you know, some sort of uh, military <laughs> base of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> they were bringing him in from some river in Saigon or something. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the nineties. He fought Desert yeah. Storm, not Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's just know. an homage to Forrest Gump. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It reminded me. Like did you guys watch uh, film to other movies? Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Kind of reminded me of the boat that oh, they're working God. on in that. <laughs> <laughs> that subplot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's throwing a fucking fishing subplot and <laughs> character that we've hardly developed. Uh, you know, so that's how they're <laughs> that's, they're that's developing the development. it. Yeah, mm, not very well. Family's got a fishing boat. <laughs> uh, no, no answer for that one. I guess. Yeah, I, I <laughs> just. Just, just, just stupid. Just he's in <laughs> Alabama, so he's got to come in on a boat. Yeah, my buddy has a fishing boat, so thought I'd <laughs> catch it, get back to the the restaurant where my wife works. <laughs> how long was Cameron gone in the army? Because how old was he supposed to be in that first scene? Let's see. So if you, if we say it takes place in the year it came out. And he fought in Desert Storm. I'd say he probably joined up, what do you think, 87, 88? Is Desert Storm I'm, I'm Storm guessing 90? 91? I'm guessing that it's supposed to be like seven to ten years after Desert Storm. It's supposed to be when we see him get in, discharged. Yeah, get discharged. Could be, yeah. So, because I'm assuming that he was either on leave or he was discharged after like 90, 91. He would, he would have been, he had to be discharged because uh, if he would have had that incident when he was in, he would have gone in front of a military court and they would have handled everything there. So he would have gotten to the brig instead of being released to a civilian prison. Okay. But I get, he's a ranger, so it's not like you join up and you become a ranger. You, you still have to it join. It takes years to become a ranger. Go into basic infantry yeah. and then apply to go to ranger school, graduate, become a ranger. So, yeah, I don't know. He, and then he has tons guess, of medals. So Yeah, he's got medals from his time in, I would imagine, Desert Storm. Yeah. Maybe some late 80s stuff if he had been a ranger by then. I don't know. So I'd say he's supposed to be in his mid, mid to late 20s. So if he was, I guess when if he, it was wartime, that. he would have actually been gone for quite a while. So maybe he was <clears> gone for like two or three years. Yeah, he would have been forward deployed for at least a year to a year and a half. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's somewhat plausible that <laughs> when she's like, you know, I thought you would have grown up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, it's like. like she would have seen def- him in the interim different well, points to impregnate her she yeah. had to have seen him recently <laughs> yeah because she wasn't that pregnant oh, yeah she said she was like maybe a week or two pregnant <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's a lot of i just saw around. you a couple yeah, about the like, timing of his military yeah, that was one of mine my, my questions was like how far along was his wife when he <laughs> met her because she's not showing a bump at yeah. all <laughs> yeah but they know the sex of the baby yeah they know the sex of the baby and he hasn't seen his he hasn't seen her since she was conceived, but it, it couldn't have been more than like a month. So, yeah. Like, <sighs> you couldn't have just at least put like a prosthetic yeah. <laughs> baby just a but pillow like, in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if he knew he was getting released, he could have used whatever time off he had to take leave to go see her. But then she would have <laughs> still like, he, she still would have had the sense that he hasn't fully matured in that time that they were together to conceive the child. <sighs> It's the yeah. 90s. You don't think about it. <laughs> uh, I think Maybe this he's might just be... that good of a guy. It's not his kid. It's uh, some other guy. <laughs> it's going to raise it like kid, it's his own. Yeah. Kid. <laughs> I think this is probably the biggest question of the whole thing is uh, 
So he decided to just never see his daughter once out of pride yeah. for the first, what, seven years of her life? Because <laughs> that's not going to fuck his kid up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I didn't want her to see me in prison is somehow better than I don't want her to see me at all or know yeah. me at all. Aside Have from no relationship letters. with me whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was one of mine. Like, do they just not allow visitors? But is it because he says he doesn't want he says, her to uh, see him? He said he didn't want her to see yeah. him like that. I don't want her seeing me in that Maybe he just ration- like, rationalizes the fact that it, had he been in the military, she, sh- she wouldn't have seen him a lot because he would have been deploying quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We would have seen her more than oh, <laughs> yeah, her once in a she would have seen her way more. I don't know. <laughs> Probably about as much as if he would have had her come see him every six months in the visiting room. Well, he they would have been stationed with him wherever he went. Yeah. Unless he's unless he's like completely against them being with him. <laughs> Whatever base he was stationed at, they would have been there, been there, either in an apartment outside of the base or on uh base housing. So it's not like he would have never seen her in that time. But I, I don't know. This is just a stupid point to maybe to just drive home the emotional impact at the end when he finally meets her and gives her the bunny. Yeah. Which I don't know about you guys did not hit home for me. <laughs> it was not no. as emotional as I think they were hoping it would have been. No, it wasn't. It was yeah, it was kind of lame. Yeah. Here's a random thought, but <laughs> do you think because he was honorably discharged, even though he went to prison? Um, do you think he would have been called back into active duty after 9-11? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure they would have. Been. Especially if they looked at the charges, which kind of is another one. Of, that was like one of my questions is why did he not have anybody from his previous command vouch for him at yeah. his trial to and speak to his character? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like you, you, you pick like the dumbest reason to fucking lock him up he's <laughs> yeah. defending himself because he gets attacked he gets stabbed oh they took the knife away does not does not negate the fact yeah. that he and got he doesn't, stabbed and he doesn't <laughs> kill the other two guys he just yeah, kills the he one kills one dude yeah <laughs> they were seen in the bar harassing him and his wife she was there to say that they're harassing him and that they stabbed him and attacked him and he was defending himself the and owner of the like bar this, witnessed it they couldn't yeah, use him like as a the, witness yeah it's the latest they had to make an example of him yeah, I'm going to make an example of you because you're from the military, okay? <laughs> That's so horribly delivered that by that mean? judge. <laughs> like, I don't have the same rights as everybody else because I was in the military? Like, yes. That's not how this works. That's not how this country works. <laughs> Wouldn't the ground crew have heard the commotion through the pilot's headset? <laughs> I don't know. That one's, yeah, he says uh, they're, they're all good, though. <laughs> he doesn't even close the fucking door while he's screaming. Welcome to Con Air and shooting it shit <laughs> stuff <laughs> right next to the pilot. <laughs> All right, no. <laughs> uh, why was Larkin at the prison in the first place? I was so confused by that yeah. scene because he's like at an that airfield. That timetable was really weird. Is the airfield connected to the prison? Was he just? Did he just happen to be at the prison? No, because they Cyrus drove him there. They, yeah, they, they drove him to a, a different they prison. They bust him to the prison. Yeah, or to yeah. the airfield. I mean, yeah, yeah. And you wouldn't want an airfield on a prison. It's yeah, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why was he so there? He's at there all? just to discover the false wall. <laughs> yeah, yes. which why Defeated. for such a genius? Why did Cyrus leave all that evidence there in the cell <laughs> that they would undoubtedly find when the next person came into the cell and probably fucked around and found it? Yeah. Like maybe because he couldn't destroy it without arousing more suspicion, but I guess I think he tear it up a little bit at a time and flush it down the toilet or whatever. You know? Yeah, he, he was smart enough to create a false wall, not smart enough to dispose yeah, of it. Yeah, and a cipher and use all and of that cipher, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> How did yeah. he communicate the cipher idea to the people in Carson City? Like, <laughs> I think they communicated it to him. Yeah. So they like How? sent him the. Don't know, because <laughs> yeah. it was it's like, like the a religious most confusing cipher ever painting too. thing, and like words, like little pieces cut out of it. That would have been super obvious to anybody who checked it out that it means Why something. The fuck are their eyes missing? <laughs> <laughs> it's because you hold the eyes over the the letters. Yeah, no, yeah, it was no, 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 in no, Spanish, no. But right? I'm saying, like, anybody looking at it, they're like, why the fuck yeah. is somebody sending him shh with these fucking eyes missing? Yeah. Yeah, they go through all their mail before yeah. they give it to the prisoners. And he's in so. Max Lockup. <laughs> How the yeah. fuck is he even he's getting got a hard stuff. copy episode about him. <laughs> I don't know. 
We see a copy of the Anarchist Cookbook in Cyrus's cell, <laughs> so but there's stupid. no way he could have made that bomb, even from that book. <laughs> yeah. Like, so how the hell did he make that bomb? And it's know. like a fucking like movie bomb where it's like yeah. two colored liquids two combine colored and wires. blow up. <laughs> Some liquid <laughs> and a timer. <laughs> Creates a giant explosion, yeah. I know the cookbook teaches you how to make napalm. I, I don't recall it ever teaching you how to actually make a bomb, though. I feel like <laughs> there are bombs to make- in there, but it's more like Ted Kaczynski style bombs, not... Bombs yeah, that can like blow up bombs. a prison cell. Yeah, throw a bunch battered. of shrapnel on a pipe and then yeah. blow it up. Yeah. yeah. Not make a giant explosion. If these guys are all so famous, why didn't any of the guards in Carson City recognize them? Because they had COVID face they masks had, on. He yeah, takes they had it masks off. on and then goggles. <laughs> yeah, but then he had goggles it. on and a hat. He yeah. had the goggles off at one point, too. It's like, it's just in. <laughs> People can't tell Clark Kent from Superman, and all he does is swap glasses. Okay? It's confusing. Like, wouldn't they have been prepped and told about these prisoners? Like, pictures of all the prisoners? No, they're all incompetent. Yeah. <laughs> the dude gets out of his cop car and walks right up to him without even, like, having his fucking gun at the ready. It's tucked in his back pocket. This, this is why those marshals didn't want anything to do with this movie is this kind of shit right here. Yeah. Um, well, it's the only reason this plot works is because they're the stupidest. Completely yards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> DA, yeah. FBI, marshals, all dumb. We kind of asked this in the, in the moment, but how did Cyrus know who Malloy was? <laughs> he just studies up on Maybe. every single police officer or DEA agent. I figured they had maybe some past history maybe. or something. He knew him. But why? He's not, he has no connection to yeah, drugs. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Screaming in the background about the dead agent. <laughs> so maybe that's yeah, how maybe. he draws the connection. He's a genius. He's a genius. That's true. Yeah, he has killed more men than cancer. That's true. <laughs> how did Billy know which box in the cargo holds was Poe's? I guess we kind of answered that because yeah, yeah, it's probably, probably written on there somewhere. Yeah, names on them. Yeah. How did Larkin start Malloy's Corvette? Did he leave <laughs> the keys in there? We didn't actually see that uh, hot wiring, I guess. Because I wouldn't yeah, have asked the question. He's just on the road with it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Malloy left the keys in there because he's just an arrogant he, asshole. Yeah. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, it's at a secure airfield, so why would yeah. you not? <laughs> I mean, I, no matter how secure I feel, I take my keys with me everywhere. Well, yeah, yeah. me too, because I'm not an idiot. But <laughs> <laughs> it was the 90s, less crime, less homeless. How long were they at Lerner Airfield? Because it felt like they were there for hours. They were yeah. at Lerner for a long that, time. <laughs> I hate that whole section of the movie. Like it just, <laughs> yeah, it's it bad. just derails everything and then yank, it totally throws the pacing all off and... There's a bunch of confusing nonsense that is just there because they needed an action scene. Yeah. In some Mad Max esque <laughs> looking junkyard slash airfield slash gas station slash diner. <laughs> <or> something. <laughs> slash uh, mobile park. Yeah, I just yeah. had yeah, next to an R V park with yeah. an empty pool that kids just hang out in doing tea party. Yes. It just like they just it was walkable just a distance from the airport there. Mishmash of yeah. things they needed to shoot scenes in <laughs> and <laughs> called it an airfield. I don't know. I guess they they wrote themselves into a corner by putting it all on an airplane. <laughs> I just yeah. didn't know where else I to mean, go. Executive decision did the same yeah, thing. I mean, a they good movie could take place all on an airplane. Air Force yeah. One did the same thing and they pulled yeah. it off. Yeah. That's the greatest mm. fucking movie here Force has ever done. <laughs> Passenger 57. Two said that one earlier. United ninety three. Snakes United on a plane. <laughs> Snakes on a plane. Airplane. <laughs> airplane. Oh my god! Airplane. Yeah. <clears throat> um. How did the inmates know about the stockpile of guns in the cargo hold? <laughs> His he. T- to be fair, Cyrus did have this schematics for the entire plane. So. Oh yeah, he did. That's, That's what I chalked it up to is that he knew that there was a compartment where they had. Okay, weapons. then how did he get those? <laughs> schematics in the first um, place the Mexicans <laughs> yeah okay. the cartel or whatever he was all with right. the cartel mm, alright 
plausible. They have connections. My yeah, question yeah. for that was again, why the fuck were there grenade launchers <laughs> <laughs> on the airplane <laughs> to stop a potential prison break or prison riot? Like <laughs> case one of the prisoners was Godzilla or <laughs> <laughs> But haven't we learned missiles don't hurt Godzilla? That's true. A two or three is not gonna hurt him either. <laughs> Um, why would they bring Cameron's wife and daughter to the scene of the plane <laughs> crash? <laughs> Just to have that ending, yeah. man. Yeah. It's literally the only reason. That's it. I mean, there's no, why, <laughs> yeah. why the fuck would you even bring her to, to the airfield? Uh, yeah. To yeah. tell her that her husband may or may not be trying yeah. to save people on a plane. <laughs> so flew her from Alabama <laughs> to California just to tell her that there was an issue on the plane. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Uh, my last question is, why would Cameron go after Diamond Dog and Cyrus rather than let the cops handle it? Because, like, he's a free man now. Just because he said that he was going to hurt his daughter. Yeah. It's, it's a bad man. He's got to stop him. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, would you trust the cops to stop them after they... I guess not. ...fucked this whole situation up royally? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, If you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. It's true. Damn That's what they else? teach you in the Rangers. <laughs> How long was a flight from Alabama to California? Because now I'm thinking back it's about, about the other question. Five hours. Like they yeah, flew about, his, they flew his wife and kid hours. all the way out to California <laughs> while this situation was going on just so he could talk to her about her husband being on it. So the plane was just flying up around there for five hours, just going from like Nevada to somewhere else in California that would take like an hour to get to. Yep. See, I wonder, yeah, that was one of my questions too. Is like, was he supposed to meet them? He was supposed to meet in them Calif- in Alabama. In- they said that the plane was going to Alabama was where it's supposed to end Okay, they did specifically up. say that he was going to transfer to a plane that went to Alabama. Okay. So, I well, no, sure they were going to, him to Carson the City. And then fly back with them? They're going to Carson City and then the from case, Carson City to Alabama. No fucking sense. Like, yeah. why the fuck? Why the fuck? So and that like time wise, it doesn't like how the fuck did yeah. she get there so fast? <laughs> it's <Yeah>. daytime. <laughs> she flew from Alabama to Carson City uh, from the time right. that they knew that some no from not Carson City from it would have been Vacaville. So yeah. from the time that they knew that there was an issue on the plane, they flew her to California. <laughs> at, at least four and hours. And then flew her to Vegas. <laughs> Then flew her to Vegas. <laughs> and that's if she could get a direct flight from Alabama to Vacaville. I mean, yeah. maybe they put her on like some sort of express military yeah. plane. Yeah. But still, it's not like they can fly <laughs> faster. <laughs> Unless they put her in a jet or something. On one of the British Airway planes? The Super Concord? <laughs> the Concord, yeah. Just for something that could have been a phone call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't have phones back in those days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we only talked. We already talked about it, but like, it really only took ten minutes for the cops to reach the boneyard, <laughs> when you could see them in the distance. Yeah, the oh, movie God. goes on for another way twenty longer. minutes, twenty yeah. Yeah. twenty-five minutes. Yeah, it's way longer than ten minutes. Dug like, out why the would you go out of your way plane. to even say that? Why not just put that part a little bit further into the? <laughs> <laughs> they dug out he the entire plane. Part. Had that exchange where Sandino went and got the plane, brought the plane out. It blew up. <laughs> then uh-huh. they mapped out the plan on the ground. Yep. And then they all got into they position got and got all and of the weapons. Ambushed. Got all of the propane tanks set up so that they could blow up the cars. <laughs> all of that. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. I feel like it would take ten minutes just to walk from where they were when they saw the cops <laughs> yeah. coming in back to the exactly. airplane yeah. Yeah. wherever it crashed. Would have taken at least ten minutes for Steve Buscemi to get to that trailer park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had like a two hour back. conversation with that little girl. Yeah. How yeah. the fuck did that all play out? And then he gets back to the plane in time to reboard before takeoff. <laughs> Why did he get back on the plane? Yeah. I think it was more like maybe he knows he needs he can't be stopped, so he needs to be yeah. he wants to but then he was just turn himself in. Doesn't like he needs to yeah, get why back does, on the plane. Why does he murderers. leave at the end? <laughs> yeah, yeah. if he feels like he needs to be imprisoned <laughs> we needed to see him in Vegas <laughs> Jesus 58% that's why why is he in the movie <laughs> why is that character in the movie at all <laughs> he doesn't you get, do anything you get an actor, actor of his caliber you don't say uh, no I guess that's true you yeah. write a role for him 
Bruckheimer already had him on payroll for uh, Armageddon. Yeah. Like, just throw him in this one. <laughs> throw him in this one. <laughs> Let's warm him up. 